Yeah. Name is turned. <laughs> so, man, I asked Clive to do something now. Well, and Clive said, I don't know whether that. He said, it mark it. You're supposed to know. Anyway, she's been serenading us all morning. Now she takes a break to have a quick chat with us. Adina, what one? Hi, how are you? Um, <laughs> can't complain. Give thanks. Um, so you were part of the Rising Stars a, a, a few years ago, but you did music before that, didn't you? Yes. So when did it start? When did the music thing start? Well, Foundations Church. I've always been singing in church. Um, I got introduced to the studio uh, when I was 18 years old by Carol Dexter. Yes, and then from there, the swing. Yeah, so you do backup stuff for people and yes, stuff? Yes, I do background vocals uh, in studio and on stage. Also. On stage? Yes. Well, go on since Rising Stars. What did that do for you? Uh, it has opened a lot of doors. I've been doing like corporate shows. I've done a couple of singles and stuff, but I, I'd taken a, a little break. But um, I just recently did a song called Happiness, uh, produced by Lewin and Kenra Mullins. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do for you. Produced by Shatman. Yes. <laughs> Shatman, right there. Man. Oh, me teach him something with the guitar. So you, you, you soon hear him play it. Uh, so why did you take the break and what made you come back into it? Uh, for personal reasons why I did, you know. Um, but, you know, nothing happened before the time. I just think the time is now. Yeah. You, you work with your brother? Yes, I do. I've been since he has been out. So you started, so you weren't working with him before? No. Or so no. Just back up or you told him to go have a song or something like that? Hopefully. <laughs> Let's see what happens in the future. By the way, I apologize, Carl. You must be saying, who is our brother? You just say, who is our brother? Bujo is our big brother. Um, so how does that feel to be working with him? Well, it's a great experience. I've gained, um, I've gained a beautiful friendships. I've um, you know, gotten the opportunity to work alongside some wonderful musicians, um, two of which are uh, performing with us today. Yeah. Yes, so I'm very grateful for that. You've done a, a couple of uh, covers, and I think um, the, the original singers would be pleased with what you've done with their songs, but do you write anything? But yes, I have um, the one that we're going to do now is called Happiness. Um, I have done one called I Refuse. Well, that was written by Carl Dexter. Yeah. That was, yeah, that was written by Carl. That was my first single, actually. Okay, so any EP album uh, on the horizon? Or? Yeah, we're working, we're working on some singles, so we can when, look out for that. When, when might that come out? Soon. Yeah. <laughs> if I didn't hear you, it's a question I ask everyone, and someone says, what kind of style you have, what would you tell them? I would say a little bit of everything. Um, most people know me for gospel, I'm a gospel girl, you know, because of the roots. Yeah, but a little bit of everything. Yep, um, your brother is a Rasta man, all the yes. gospel and the Rasta fire work, <laughs> well, work in the same song. Jesus Christ. So when he said, John, you just said, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> That should be interesting. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, it's great to see you. So earlier she gave us a rendition of Alicia Keys's If I Ain't Got You. Now she dials back the clock with this Etta James hit at last. Here's Adina and friends.
could speak to. A dream that I. 